As president of Caltech, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here today. It's a great program that we have for you, or at least that's what uh, ChatGPT told me. Uh, Hello, Caltech. How are you guys doing? I believe that every single one of you is using an AI system one way or another uh, in your daily life, every day. Watching a TV show on Netflix or ordering something on Amazon or Google Maps or something like this. But there's also some kind of more concerning uses of AI, like predictive policing or algorithmic hiring. The data we have is biased. You know, the internet only captures a small fraction of humanity and a small fraction of languages and culture. And so if that becomes a mirror to all of humanity, that is a problem. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. To the extent that a super intelligent AI system can exist in the future that can have potential to cause a lot of harm, the manner by which it could cause that harm will not be anything like what's in these movies. You, know? Do you think they're not going to send a governor back from the future? Uh, to try to kill, no, okay. I mean, if I was gonna be really like pedantic about it, they'll, they'll just um, you know, freeze all of our bank accounts and then the US Ooh. economy would just stop to function, You're, for example. This is great, you're just giving me more things to worry about. That's right. <laughs> we marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI. I think that there is an imminent threat uh, in for our lives, uh, and it's not AI, it's climate change. I'm more worried about climate change than any AI system, any chatbot, or any self-driving car. What's really happening is a feel and a sense of loss of control, right? I didn't, I didn't realize I was, that given this data would be this type of invasion of privacy, or it feels to me like an invasion of privacy. I think AI has progressed so fast that government kind of regulations have lagged behind. What's important is being curious and having an understanding of, oh, can they take over the job I'm doing today? Or maybe better, they can help me and be, make me more productive. There is going to be a huge advantage for anyone who adopts them and gets uh, a good understanding of where they are and how they're going to develop and harness them.